everybody, it's Tony Kriz again here with Off the Highway, and we're going off the highway with that man right there. That is Dr. Randy Woodley, one of the co-founders of the North American Institute for Indigenous Theological Studies, or NATES. Check it out. Dr. Woodley, Randy, uh, my question for you is, um, how is God the most vulnerable being that exists? Oh, Taking one of my statements and turning it on me, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I think if you think about what love really is, right? So God is love. Um, and uh, you think about how uh, love has to be vulnerable in order to, uh, to, to really be love. I mean, you, ca you can't love your wife and not be vulnerable. You can't love your kids and not be vulnerable. You can say you love them, but they're not going to feel that, right? So I, th I think, um, and, and not just vulnerable, but fragile. Hmm. So um, we have this idea that, you know, God and the universe and power and the words spoken and, uh, yeah, and all that may be true. And yet Jesus shows us something about who God is that is totally off the map in terms of, um, of, of how God really acts. Hmm. The servant is the greatest, you know, the weakest is the strongest. And so it just turns everything on its head. And so I think if love is what the universe is made from, so God is love, then God has to be the most vulnerable creature in all the multiverses or however you want to say in existence, because otherwise, where would that come from? And so, so God demonstrates his love toward us, right? That Christ died for us. And not just died, but, but came and became a, a human being and a two-legged and, and walked on uh, uh, the earth and, um, you know, lived a marginalized life and, and died a marginalized death and, and resurrected. And, you know, uh, and all of that is tied into um, what some people would call strength, but I would call vulnerability and fragileness. All right. You heard it here first, everybody. God is vulnerable. Maybe, oh, sounds like the most vulnerable being in existence. Thank you so much, everybody. That is Dr. Randy Woodley, author of Shalom and the Community of Creation and Indigenous Vision. Thanks so much, Randy. Woo-woo! Woo-woo!